Welcome to the SB Grid Installer Quick Start. This is a short video to show you how to install SB Grid software on your own laptop or a local desktop. We'll start at the SB Grid website, sbgrid.org, and we'll download the client installer software. If we scroll down a bit on the right hand side, you will see a link to software installer and a request form. Full details are listed here on this website, in this wiki, uh, but we'll do the short version and start with the graphical installer. On the right hand side, I'm clicking the graphical installation client. And first I'm going to download it and then I'm going to activate it. If you scroll down a bit, you'll see the download link, that latest build 1.0. 694. I'm going to click on that and you can see it's downloading a Macintosh disk image. This is being done on a Mac laptop. The graphical version only runs on Macintosh at the moment. Our next version will have a graphical version for both Linux and Macs. So when this completes downloading, I can just double click it down here at the bottom to open the disk image. just like any software installer. And here is the installer window. It can be a bit confusing because the disk image is called the SB Grid installer, but that also is the name of the software itself. The name of the application is sbgridinstaller.app. You can see it here. And this you can drag to anywhere on your desktop or the applications folder. It doesn't have to be the applications folder. You can put it anywhere. I've already dragged it to my desktop, so I'll eject that disk image. And over here, you can see the icon for it on the right-hand side. I'm just gonna double click it to start it. And the first thing that pops up is the registration uh, display screen. You can click on the link, register for an activation key, and that will simply take you to the web page uh, for registration. This is a simple form where you fill out your name, some details, click submit, and then uh, you'll receive an email back that will include this information, site name, username, and activation key. I've already done this and I've received my information ahead of time, saved it in a file here. So I'm just going to copy and paste. Uh, the first item is the site name. This is typically named for your institution, something like BCH production, HMS production, something like that. The username is a name that is assigned to you by SB Grid just for the use of this software. It has no relation to a login on any machine anywhere, and it's not used for anything else. Uh, this is just to keep track of people who are using the software in our database. And finally, the activation key is this long string. Now just copy and paste it into there and click on activate. You'll see the little circle that says, please wait, it takes a minute or two. And the first time you install this software, you must give it an administrative password. You have to have administrative rights on the laptop you're installing to. The SB Grid installer uh, creates a link under slash programs that points to a directory under slash op slash SB Grid. That directory slash op slash SB Grid is where all SB Grid software gets installed. It does not go anywhere else on your laptop. No libraries are placed into system directories. There are no application preferences or anything like that. It all lives in that single directory. This makes it convenient to remove the software down the road. Uh, and if you ever end up uh, with somehow some corrupted system, the SB Grid software is not working properly, you can remove and restart. Uh, so once the application is finished, it's startup, it asks me to restart this application, the installer. I just click yes. It's simply reading the database of installed software, again, the one that it has just created and installed. And now I have the main screen for the installer itself. Just going to make it a little bigger here to make it easier to read. On the left, we have a number of folders, installed, updates pending, and all. The folder marked all 
contains a list of all software titles that you now have available to install on this laptop. You can scroll through them to have a look at them all. The folders below that, crystallography, NMR, electron microscopy, and so forth, are simply a breakdown. They're categories of <clears throat> the list of all software. In crystallography, you see there are 70 titles listed under visualization, structure visualization and analysis, 77, and other. These are titles that don't really fit in the previous categories there, a few. Uh, if you don't immediately see the software package you are looking for, you can search for titles. Again, I recommend that you click on all so that you're searching in all titles. And in the top right-hand corner of the installer uh, window, you'll see a search box. You can just start typing and it's a quick look ahead tool. So I'm gonna look for SAM tools and I find it, and there it is. If I click on the SAM tools uh, line, I'll get a little blurb about SAM tools on the right hand side, the description, links to the website and the manual, the forum if there is one, and sometimes a mailing list if one is available. In the software title itself, we see that the current version is 1.10. Under the installed version column, I see nothing because I have not installed the software. So in order to install software titles, we simply check the box for that title. You can see it checked here. And when I do that, I'll see that on the left-hand side, the pending folder is updated. If I click on that, I see that I have one item pending, SAM tools. That means it's waiting to be installed. To complete the installation, we click on Apply Changes. This pending folder is there in case you want to install multiple software titles all at once. You click on SAM Tools, then go and search for another title and check it, and three or four or five more titles until you have all the software that you would like. And that way you can simply install them all together by clicking Apply Changes once. In our case, I'm just going to install SAM Tools, so now I'll click Apply Changes. I get a pop-up window asking for confirmation. Here's the, uh, what's about to happen. Uh, the installer will install SAM Tools version 1.10. If that's what I really meant to do, I click on apply and the software begins installing. Every piece of software that you install with this graphical client or the command line client uh, is hosted at the SB Grid Consortium uh, on the Harvard campus, on the quad. So the software that is being downloaded now is coming from SB Grid servers at HMS. Um, these are not being downloaded from uh, Git repo somewhere. They're this, it's not the source code for say SAM tools, uh, but these are pre-compiled binary packages that are already fully configured to work in the SB Grid environment. As soon as they are downloaded to your laptop or other machine, they're ready to run. The first piece of software that you install uh, might take slightly longer than uh, other titles uh, because an installation database is being created. Uh, so first the software is downloaded and then the local database, the SB Grid database, uh, gets updated with a few details about the software that's installed, the different versions that are available, and so on and so forth. Typically, this only takes about a minute, one minute to two minutes, even on a home uh, internet connection, or not a particularly fast internet connection. If you find that uh, a single title is taking, say, 10 minutes or more, something might have gone wrong, and you can stop it. You can simply start over. Uh, there are a number of titles available in SB Grid that are very small. They should download and install in a minute or two. But there are also some large titles that are five or six gigabytes or more. Uh, if you're familiar with the title that you're installing, you might know this already. And those titles will, of course, uh, take quite a bit longer to download before they're installed. Once the installation finishes, we will see that the title is now listed in the installed folder on the left hand side. It's SAM Tools version 1.10. That's the current version that we saw before. And now under the installed version column, we see that it's 1.10. So we've installed SAM Tools. Now, how do we go about using it? Uh, 
there are two ways to invoke the SB Grid environment. One is right from this installer. There is a button on the top of the window near the right hand side called SB Grid Shell. This button simply opens a terminal window, a new shell, and runs a single command that is source slash programs slash sbgrid.shrc. I'll show you that in a second. But here's the terminal window that has been opened. You can see I have the SB Grid splash screen uh, that indicates it, uh, it's active and the capsule status down below listed as active. This is the SB Grid capsule environment. I'm now all set to use any software that I've installed with SB Grid. Let's go ahead and just test that SAM Tools is available and I'll ask for the version number. And there it is, it runs, it shows me the version 1.10 and a little blurb about the copyright. You notice that I did not change my path settings. I did not edit my .bashrc or .profile file. I did not change my environment in any way. I simply clicked on the SB Grid shell button. When the SB Grid environment is sourced, that sets up the entire SB Grid environment on your behalf. And all of the titles, all of the software that's available to you are encapsulated and available in your path ready to run. You don't have to click this SB Grid shell button over here. If you would like to simply start it on your own from a terminal or in a script at some point, you can simply run the command source slash programs slash sbgrid.shrc. This sets up the SB Grid environment and you can see I get the splash screen again and capsules are active. And then in this uh, shell, I now also have access to SAM tools. So that's how you install a uh, software title and how you activate the SB Grid environment to use it. And now let's just go back to the graphical installer to delete software. And deleting uh, a title, a software title, we first start with our, our list of installed software titles here. To delete it, I simply uncheck it. And when I do, you notice that the title name, the name of the software turns to red. And there is again, a pending operation. That operation is to remove SAM tools. So finally, I will click the Apply Changes button. And again, I get the splash, splash screen, this time confirming that I want to remove SAM tools version 1.10. I will click Apply, and the installer will now delete the software and update the underlying uh, installation database, indicating that it is no longer available. This also takes about a minute to run, and we see that it is done. Just reloading the package database, and now I see that I have no software installed uh, and nothing available. And thus ends the quick start for the graphical installer.